The 2023 New South Wales Selective Test took place on May the 4th this year, and over 15,000 Year 6 students are likely to participate in this highly competitive exam. The advantages of attending a selective high school are numerous, including a superior academic environment, enhanced university prospects, and an exceptional education without incurring the expenses associated with some costly private schools. My name is John and I attended both Penrith High School and I graduated from Girawin High School. With nine years of teaching experience at Bing's Academy, I help students reach their academic goals through personalized one-on-one -on -one tutoring. In our previous video, I emphasized the importance of post-exam feedback and calls for better understanding student performance and potential changes in your school options to maximize your chances of getting in one. After calling every one of our selective students who participated in this year's exam, I have a comprehensive understanding of this year's test. In this video, I provide an in-depth analysis of the writing question, which was quite unique and presented a few challenges that even our kids struggled with at times. Please note that I won't be discussing the exact question that was actually given in the test as I don't have access to it, no one has access to it. Instead, I provide an accurate and realistic overview based on student feedback and familiar wording based on my experience too. For starters, the heading. The heading for the writing question was New Superhero indicating that students needed to create an original superhero character rather than one that already exists. This sets the stage for a creative and imaginative writing task that tests students' ability to generate. The first sentence informs students that they needed to write an email to a movie company, describing a new superhero for a competition to win a $1,000 prize. The email format requires a specific tone and structure, such as a greeting, opening, body, and closing paragraphs. Students are given information about the intended recipient of the email, allowing them to tailor their response to a specific audience. For example, they could address the email to a known movie company like Marvel Studios, or create a fictional company like Superhero, Superhero Creations Incorporated. This choice will impact the content as well as a well-known company might expect more detailed explanations of how the new superhero fits into the existing universe. They also mention $1,000 and this is important because it needs to be explicitly stated and mentioned as that is the prize money for describing and creating this new superhero for them. Depending on who you are and what your superhero is, this can also be reflected in your response. Weaker responses will just address a movie company in general, or they will create a superhero that is not new or novel. They will also not mention the $1,000 prize, which is the intention that's already given in this first sentence as well. The next sentence mentioned that the movie company is seeking ideas from the community. This implies the value, that they value the input from fans and are open to multiple submissions from not just yourself, but from a range of different people from the community. Students should consider and take this into consideration and emphasize how the superhero idea represents the community's interests and values and how they could be appealing to not just yourself but for the broader community. They can also mention the inspiration behind the superhero, drawing from real life heroes, community issues or popular culture. The following sentence reveals that the chosen superhero has the potential to be used in other mediums like books or blockbuster films. This information emphasizes the need for a versatile and marketable superhero concept that could appeal to a wide audience across various media platforms. Students should highlight the adaptability of their superhero across these mediums and explain how it can translate into different formats, uh, such as comic books, novels, or movies. For instance, if your superhero doesn't have a name at all, it would not be good from a marketing perspective as there is no name attached to it it's going to be much harder for someone to describe as a hero without a certain name to it and they're only talking about their features as opposed to Iron Man where you can describe their features but it's going to be very memorable because Iron Man is very easy to, to think of. The next line reinforces the text type that is being asked being the email. It tells the students what needs to be followed, that they need to describe a new superhero and that it's directed to the movie company. The dot points provide guidance on what to include in the email, such as A, describing the appearance and features of the superhero. 
For instance, students could mention the superhero's costume, colors, and unique physical characteristics, giving examples of how these features contribute to the superhero's identity. B, explaining their powers and how they can be used, such as the ability to control elements, super strength, telepathy, telekinesis, and the list goes on. Students should provide examples of situations where these powers would be most useful and demonstrate the superhero's potential for exciting storylines, whether they're defeating a bad guy or overcoming a problem. This is defining features of a superhero. Or C, elaborating on what makes the superhero popular and well-known, like a captivating origin story, relatability, or their role in, in solving critical problems. Students should explain the reasoning behind their choices and how these contri factors contribute to the superhero's appeal. While these points are presented as suggestions, as they say you can consider it, like always in previous writing tasks that they give, they have to be integrated into response as they provide a solid foundation for a well-structured email. If you want to do more than just these three points, you can. However, these three points need to be incorporated. They're very fishy like that, where they say things are optional, you can consider it, but anything that they have in that email needs to be interwoven inside your response to get the most marks. The question did not include an image this year as well, but it did mention that students were not required to use some email formatting, such as elements like to, from, date, etc. However, these elements could still be used if desired to enhance the email's authenticity and demonstrate the, the student's understanding of professional email etiquette. Otherwise, there could be a risk of it being too similar to a letter. They're also referring to the parts prior to the introduction that is typically written in an email that act a bit like subheadings that are typically in an email. The rest of what is required in email should still be allowed, including the tone and the structure and your word choices. In terms of tips and takeaways, for this writing task, students should aim for at least one page with stronger students approaching the two page mark within the 30 minute time frame. It's essential to maintain an appropriate email format, even though they say some of it's not required, you have to do it, including a greeting, opening, body and closing, along with full paragraphs. Students should also remember to address the specific audience, emphasize the superhero's community appeal, and ensure that the superhero concept is versatile enough to be appealed and to be presented on multiple media platforms. After speaking to all of our selective kids this year, I've deduced that the difficulty of this writing task was higher than previous selective writing tasks as the email text type is not commonly taught in schools. I would say this is harder than the newspaper report, uh, which, which was given two years ago, but easier than last year's diary entry. While many students are familiar with writing informal emails to friends and family and other, other students in their class, a formal exam setting requires a more structured and sophisticated approach. This email text type, as well as last year's diary entry and the year before newspaper report, indicates that the writing portion of the selective exam is becoming increasingly more challenging and students have to be adequately prepared for it if they are looking for these top schools. However, the theme of describing a superhero may be more comfortable for the majority of students, allowing them to generate creative ideas more easily and relate their superhero to existing characters while still maintaining originality. So a lot of the students that I spoke to, they directly addressed the email's recipient being Marvel Studios, and there was only a very small portion of people who did not do that. So I think that was awesome in that area. In conclusion, although the writing question in the 2023 New South Wales Selective Test presents some unique challenges, a thorough understanding of the task and careful attention to detail could allow the student to achieve success. If you participated in this test this year, do you follow uh, the points that I mentioned outlined in this video, or do you take a different route? Share your thoughts and let me know if you enjoy videos like this. Your feedback can help us create even more helpful videos in the future and provide valuable insights for students preparing for future exams. Thank you guys, like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.